Okay, this is the JOST classification of first MPJ dislocations. So, um, to simplify it, essentially it goes from uh, little soft tissue damage to most soft tissue damage. So, if you can imagine a 1 has zero soft tissue damage, the, the proximal phalanx dorsally dislocates on the first metatarsal, is, and the uh, flexor tendons and the sesamoid apparatus uh, basically wrap around the top of the, the first metatarsal. And this is almost impossible to close reduce, as you can imagine, because there's no, there's no way you can stretch those tendons and all of that soft tissue back down around it. Um, then type 2 is divided in an A and B, unfortunately. Type A, the hallux dislocates and disrupts the intersesmoidal ligament. So if you can see in the yellow image, there's a the little, little slice between that, between the two sesamoids that allowed the first metatarsal to plantar flex through. Type 2B, hallux dislocates um, with disruption of the intersesmoid ligament or the transverse sesamoidal fracture occurs. So um, that would be a fracture of the, one of the sesamoids that allows the soft tissues to dorsally dislocate. And then type 3 is just a complete severance of all those soft tissues, allowing the proximal phalanx to dorsally dislocate. And uh, as you can see on the far right image, there's like a mirror in it, a mirror uh, underneath that first metatarsal showing you that all those soft tissues are completely severed. And that's basically it. In order to remember uh, Joss, um, I've used Bob Marley, who often sings about jaw, but it's a parody on Jaws because uh, it's obviously uh, mimicking the Jaws movie poster. So that's Joss or Jaws for the dislocation of the first MTJ. And that's it.